Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. This is your latest video briefing before the next storm hits Southern California. We do expect widespread rain across Southern California and more snow in the mountains. Uh, the photo on the left hand side there, that's from this past weekend with the snow and more importantly, the severe icing that occurred in the upper elevations above 7,000 feet. Here are the highlights. Pacific Storm will take aim, direct aim into Southern California, move across San Diego Wednesday night. A secondary weaker system will move through Thursday afternoon. That'll keep the showers going. Precipitation will be widespread. Uh, it begins Wednesday afternoon and then heavy at times Wednesday evening. There is a chance of thunderstorms as well. And we could see some heavy rainfall rates as shown here, possibly some minor urban flooding. Total precipitation of a quarter to half inch locally, a little bit more uh, in the heavier showers and along some of our mountain slopes uh, with just light rain in our deserts. Scattered showers, as mentioned, will continue on Thursday, especially in San Diego County with the cold air in place. And then we're going to see snow over the mountains. Uh, the snow levels will quickly come down Wednesday evening to between five and 6,000 feet. So maybe even a little bit of snow in the San Diego mountains. Uh, the winds will be gusty, but not nearly as strong as what we saw over the past weekend. Uh, and those winds will shift over to the west, southwest to west, uh, Wednesday night. Then we dry out uh, with some northerly winds on Friday. All right, here's the weather risk outlook. And we're looking at uh, orange level moderate for some of that heavy rain Wednesday evening and Wednesday night, especially for the coast and mountains uh, as shown here. Uh, otherwise, we're looking at uh, scattered showers on Thursday, even though snow levels will be lower uh, between five and 6,000 feet. And then we dry out. All right, let's take a look at uh, this past winter, the core of the winter at least. It's not over with yet, even though we're in March. December through February is considered the core winter. That's when we provide the winter weather outlook period and it focuses on that. So the forecast is in the middle. Uh, that was issued in November, uh, warmer than average temperatures, especially for Northern California and above normal precipitation for most of California shown there. Here's what actually happened uh, between December and February. Most of the state ended up being a little bit above normal, uh, especially areas along the uh, Point Conception and LA area. Now, uh, temperatures also were above normal as shown there. Of course, a lot of the precipitation has continued in March, so we filled in some of the holes, especially in the Sierra Nevada. And this is what I mean. Past 30 days and past 60 days, it's really been concentrated the past 30 days with the recent big storms across the central southern Sierra Nevada and all the way down to LA. If you look past 60 days or two months, taking you really back to the start of 2024, most of California all the way up to Oregon and much of the Great Basin have been above normal. So despite a slow start to the water year and the winter, we've really made up for it. Uh, in some cases, two times as much precipitation in those purple shaded areas. The snowpack, that's really where we've seen the big changes recently. The Sierra Nevada snowpack has now reached 100% of normal. Before the recent storms, it was about 80% of normal. 78 inches of snow occurred at the Sierra Snow Lab on I-80, 6,900 feet. That's six and a half feet of snow. Uh, in that snow was five to nine inches of water during that period. You can see even today on the satellite picture, some of that snow is starting to show through, even though there's some high clouds above it. Okay, additional snow is what we're showing here. So we do expect snow over our Southern California mountains Wednesday evening and Wednesday night with some snow showers continuing Thursday. Uh, we're looking at several inches of snow above 6,000 feet with the most significant snow between seven and 8,000 feet, which does impact some of our mountain passes. And then we're also looking for a little bit of snow all the way down to 5,000, 5,500 feet, including the San Diego mountains as shown here. Total precipitation. 
The bulk of this will occur Wednesday evening. It'll start Wednesday afternoon, the heaviest precipitation Wednesday evening. You can see some heavy bands of rain are possible really almost anywhere along the coast and then up into our mountain foothills as shown here. With some places receiving a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. It will be a windy storm, but nothing like we saw over the past weekend. So the southwest winds will shift to the west as the cold front swings through Wednesday evening and overnight on Wednesday. So the main wind impacts will be our mountain passes uh, and into our deserts. We are looking at heavy rain, and so there's an excessive rainfall outlook, uh, marginal risk, so the lowest risk in the area shaded in green here really anywhere again along the coast and even parts of our valleys where heavy showers and even thunderstorms are possible Wednesday evening. Uh, this map here shows the best chances for a half inch of rain. So you can see the bluish and then the orangish shaded is the heaviest rain potential or the highest probability of getting a half inch of rain in six hours. What's going to cause this and why are there really good chances of a burst of heavy rain Wednesday evening along our coast? The main storm system off the Pacific is going to take a dive into Southern California directly across LA and San Diego as shown here Wednesday night. So the path of the storm is key. That'll be the bulk of the cold air, the instability and the potential for those heavy rain showers Wednesday evening. What happens after that? Um, it looks like we finally are going to dry out. Uh, there's been a lot of indication the past week or so that mid to late March will be drier. And we're starting to see that in the forecast now for Southern California coming up here for middle of March. Still another storm system will move across Northern California though during this period. So keep that in mind. As we get deeper into March, mid-March, it looks like we're gonna warm up some spring weather, warmer than average temperatures in Southern California, and uh, dry conditions in mid-March, it looks like. So one more significant round of rain is expected coming up Wednesday evening, and then drier and warmer conditions for the middle of March. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.